Hey everybody, welcome to TechPress. My name is Steven. I'm going to be showing you how to start selling with the eBay. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with an actual e-commerce store totally for free. And then later on, we can start selling from day number one. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So we need to have an actual seller account to process the different payment methods so we can start to receive the money. And it's really important guys that you follow step by step this video so you can start to customize your actual seller account. So the very first thing you wanted to do is to go into the ebay.com fast forward slash seller uh, center. If you don't find that you don't have to worry about that, just focus into the selling part and look out for start selling on eBay. So I'm going to hit here why to sell on ebay you don't want to focus a lot in that if you already have an ebay account you already wanted to start selling into ebay right so let's go and focus it into start selling and then later on let's go for list an item so this one is going to be taking us into the list of your item get seller protection and then choose when you get paid so let's go and look out for list an item and then later on, what we wanted to do is to look out for something like just uh, too broad or too easy because we don't want to focus a lot into uh, the actual list and we want to make the seller account. So let's go and look out for something easy, for example, like a t-shirt, whatever, shirt for men, casual, casual fit, um, looked out for that. And then later on, let's let's say that this is a matched and let's go for new with tax, continue with listing. And then later on, it's going to be asking us to sign into an actual eBay. So here's the part where you want to choose create an account. I wanted to provide my first, my last name, as well as an email. And then later on, I need to provide, of course, a passcode. So in my case, I'm going to type something like this. And then later on, let's go for create an account. This one is going to be taking us with the email security code. So let's go and do this really, really quick. So there, I now have an account. What I want to do now is to provide the contact information in order to continue. So let's go with the address. And then later on, we have now to get more out of my eBay, how to find deals, watch items, save favorite, and list some items. What I wanted to do is to locate the selling part. So down in here, we have the overview and I have the sell and item part. So this one's going to be taking us once again into the actual listing an item. So once again, what you want to do is to just make sure that you have the list up to 200 items totally for free every month. This is something that's going to be helping us to get started with. This is, just, this is just like a promotion for people to get started here into eBay. So once I get into list an item, I'm going to do exactly the same process. And then later on, I can go back into my actual store. So I'm going to hit saved for later. So this one is going to be taking us into the actual managed our draft. So here is a draft that we actually don't want to mess around with. We want to just focus into my eBay. And here, let's go once again into selling. So here into the selling overview, I'm going to hit into OK, I got it. And this is the part where you watch, actually wanted to take in mind uh, all of the elements that appears here. So first of all, what I want to do is to check it out the seller dashboard. So here, it's going to be appearing this stuff that might be appearing for almost anyone. Sell your first item on eBay to see your seller dashboard. This is the part where you wanted to, of course, here to start selling. But more than that, what I want to do is to start by making an, or adding a payment uh, address here. So if I locate my personal information, I want to add my PayPal account or what I can do is to add a bank account. So this one is not going to be taking like any kind of money, but we wanted to add those kind of stuff so we can start to have the seller account. So what I want to do is to click into the X mark and I'm going to be showing you another account where I do have now my bank account already been added into my actual eBay store. So I'm going to locate my eBay, I'm going to hit into the summary and here I have the payout preferences. So here into the payout preferences, I added two stuff. I added my taxes my payment information and the payout uh, way that I'm going to be receiving money when I make a sale inside eBay. So it's really important to do that. You want it to go directly into your eBay, go into summary, and inside summary, you want to look out for payments. Here, what you want to do is to add all of those elements in order to see, I'm going to go into my actual seller hub. Let's go into sell once again. And take a look that if I go directly into the listing, here is going to be appearing my seller dashboard. So it's really important that you have, of course, one uh, active, active listing. So as you can see, I have only one product, but I can see the photo, I can see the title, the 
uh, item specifications, the custom label, the format, the current price, the promotion, absolutely everything about my actual product. If I go a little bit up, I have now the unsold, I have the drafts, I have the scheduled, and I have the ended. So this one is going to be helping us a lot to make sure what are the items that need to be relisting, what items items that needed to be uh, deleted, or I can go directly into how many people actually check it out or watched my my content. So as you can see, it says watchers, and I have zero here at the moment. So if I go into the last 90 days, you can go and move on to the last seven days, or 30 days, 48 hours, whatever you want to. And it's gonna be helping you to track all the elements and how we can try to customize and improve a little bit more our products. I'm gonna hit into actions, see sell similar, or actually I'm gonna just release the item so I can try to do this once again hitting to relist this is of course a drop shipping uh, product that I added uh, from the actual CA drop shipping so I'm going to just leave everything like that list it for free hit into list it and we're actually good to go and as you can see here is resold here is one product now what I want to do now is just to make sure that this one is appearing into the active so I'm going to go back here and I have now two products already been added and eligible for uh, getting started with. So if I click the, it's going to be taking me now into the item that is going to be now appearing for sale. So as you can see, I have the seller information. I have the shop with confidence. I have the contact seller. And here are all the actual elements of my actual product. So take a look and take in mind that if you wanted to make some CJ drop shipping uh, inside the actual eBay, it's going to be taking you like, maybe five minutes to make the actual uh, product description and information about all of that and then later on you don't have to do absolutely anything because everything's going to be added automatically so the seller hub is going to be helping us to track all that information about our actual e10 product um item product sorry so if i go now into my ebay i'm going to hit into my summary and let's locate the actual performance section so i can go into the summary here into the summary, it's going to be appearing how many people have the listing impressions, the clicks through rate, the listing page views, and the sale conversion rate. It's really, but really, really important, guys, that you wanted to um, improve your click through rate as much as you can. So that means that if you make a little bit of maths, let's say that 127 persons view this element inside eBay and only three of them clicked into the actual product. So that means we have an average click through rate of the one that 6%. What I want to do is to try to lower my impressions and higher my click through rate so people can, so I can understand that there's actually people interest into the actual product that I'm actually selling. If there's actually no click through rate here, that means that I need to change a few stuff. Maybe that will be the actual price. Maybe that will be the images. Maybe that will be the title description, or maybe I needed to add some free shipping. I'm not pretty sure. For example, taking in mind here that into the impressions, there were a lot of people uh, watching my product on the last part of the different impressions here, as you can see here it is. And here have March 30, April 2, April 3, page view, eBay, certain site. So I go a little bit down and I have the active listing. And here of this product, I have two page view, one external page view, zero quantity sold, and the click through rate is 2.3%. That is a little bit more than the other one because I have 86 people watching my content and out of those 86, two of them actually clicked into my actual product. So we wanted to look out for people who actually clicked into our actual product and then of course we can start to make a sale. So guys, we have now uh, made the actual performance. We have now active our actual seller account. Once again, it's really important guys that you have an active uh, listing and you have your payments already been added. The payout and the one where you're gonna be currently paid at. So it's really important to you guys and automatically the seller hub is gonna be payment. It's gonna be popped up on your account on eBay. So with that being said, guys, we have now reached into the very end of the video. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. You do want to see more amazing tools about the actual eBay and the product that you're making the listing of the seller hub. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. And hopefully I will see you next time.